It's black, gloopy, and gelatinous, and comes in hues of green and brown. The century egg is a polarizing ingredient, often the butt of jokes, or cause for revulsion in popular culture around the world. In 2018, Sweden's disgusting food museum even added century eggs to its infamous exhibits. Wait, what? This episode of Eat Drink Asia, we're here to clear a few things up about the century egg. Most importantly, why most of us love and look forward to a delicious serving of the delicacy. To get down to the basics on what makes a good century egg, we visited Chef Saito Chow, the head chef of modern Cantonese restaurant Chineseology. What do you consider to be a good century egg? 靚嘅皮蛋咧，一般咧我哋會有個蟲花嗰個感覺。咁蟲花咧就會比較食落去咧，會比較軟熟啲嘅嚇。咁裏邊咧會有糖心嗰個感覺。係啊，咁呢個就為之一個靚嘅皮蛋啦。In Chinese, there's a term "tong sum." In English, does that mean like a molten lava kind of center? 其實都似嘅，因為咧似啊朱古力流心蛋嗰結少少，就係嗰個黏黏地嗰個感覺，或者咧你用蟹膏嚟形容都好似嘅，啱啱蒸熟緊緊熟嘅蟹膏咧，咁亦都係可以形容到糖心嗰個軟滑度咯。So the flavour of a century egg, how would you describe it？ 口感咧係軟熟，同埋喺裏邊係糖心啦，咁而且咧食嘅時候你會食到金香嗰個感覺。喺個口腔裏邊攞下攞下，咁為之一個好好嘅皮蛋個味道就喺度啦。For some people, century egg tastes like a bit of、uh, like ammonia, very alkali. Does that mean that's not a good century egg? 因為咧，可能醃嘅時候咧，即係攞石灰粉啊嗰啲醃嘅時候咧，醃得太耐就會有機會又有啲阿摩尼亞味道，或者咧食嘅時候咧都會比較實啲嘅。咁所以有陣時你見到啊啲皮蛋好實，就唔係一個上乘嘅皮蛋啦。The ammonia odor often given off by poor quality century eggs may explain why there were persistent rumors that the century eggs are made by soaking them in disgusting things like horse urine. Well, that's nothing more than a myth. Century eggs are usually made from duck eggs, a mud paste made with salt, quicklime, freshly burned wood ashes, and rice hulls is used to cover the raw duck eggs. The alkaline paste triggers a chemical reaction that slowly solidifies the egg creating a gelatinous texture. For the eggs to be ready, they have to be left to sit for at least a hundred years. Just kidding. It's usually somewhere between 10 days to a few months. I brought three meat 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 for you to try. The meat meat is good. 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 If you want, I'll try the meat meat. Yes, please. So why does century egg go well in congee? This egg is very soft and soft. If you add a lot of meat, the meat has a very unique flavor. If you add a lot of meat, it's very popular in the traditional Chinese dish. It's a meat soup. And the next one, classic appetizer, cold century egg with ginger, right? But it seems like you've got something else going on there. Can you tell me about that? Actually, the traditional Chinese meat soup, we only have the meat. 紫姜同皮蛋，咁啊點砂糖食嘅，咁但係我覺得咧啊可以食得特別少少，加埋我哋嗰個麻辣汁落去咧，佢有多個口感嘅層次。Century egg, we know that we have it in our congee, we eat it by itself for its flavour, but I think a lot of people forgotten that like it's eaten as a dessert as well. So how do you balance the flavour in a pastry? 傳統咧，我哋就用綠豆做咗個綠豆餡啦，然後咧就包咗個紫薑同埋皮蛋喺個綠豆裏邊。咁中國人咧，其實誒一般咧，我哋有食料嗰個感覺嘅，因為綠豆比較屬性係寒涼嘅，因為紫薑咧會比較燥熱，咁啊平衡咗嗰個食料嗰個感覺，唔會太燥熱，然後包埋個皮蛋嘅金香落去，焗香咗之後咧，就成咗一個中國嘅甜品啦。係啊，可以試下。I'm going to use my hand.、Okay. 點啊？你覺得有感覺 ？I mean, of course, I like sweets, but the century egg really just brings out the flavor of the ginger in this, and of course, pastry. What's not to like? Today, you can find a variety of dishes made with century eggs across China, 
and even Southeast Asia. But the exact origin is actually a bit murky. One legend says it was born in a small tea house in China's Jiangsu province during the Ming Dynasty. During rush hour, the tea house owner dumped some used tea leaves on top of the kitchen's ash piles. Coincidentally, the ducks that roam free around the tea house like to lay eggs in the ashes. The owner discovered the ash-covered eggs, which he first thought were inedible. But when he tasted this mysterious dark egg, the flavor was actually smooth and refreshing. And that's how the century egg was born. Look, I get it. A black egg doesn't even look edible. But for this reason, we've invited TCM practitioner Sam To to tell us why it's actually good for you. Toe says the cooling effect of century eggs is also good for other heat symptoms, or yit hei in Cantonese. Problems such as poor sleep, having a lot of eye discharge, bad breath, urine that is too yellow, as well as itchy or inflamed skin. And this is probably why century eggs have remained a part of the Chinese diet for hundreds of years. Now, some creative chefs in Hong Kong are giving this centuries-old ingredient a new spin. Executive chef at One Harbour Road restaurant Chan Hong Cheng has a contemporary take on the classic cold appetizer, century egg with baby pickled ginger. What made you think that you wanted to reinvent the century egg? Eh, 做了一個結晶體,雪洞可以吃,這是一個新的體驗的食法 Chef Chan is not the only one cracking open some fresh ideas Chef Vicky Cheng at Wing Restaurant has created his own century egg to pair with an unusual, luxurious ingredient Vicky, tell me the journey of you reinventing the century egg um, well, I, I wouldn't say it's a reinvention, uh, but uh, we did take into liberty of uh, house making our own century egg here at Wing Restaurant. Our objective and goal is to always create dishes that are perhaps not exactly traditionally Chinese, but remaining absolutely 100% Chinese in terms of its cuisine. Uh, so combining oyster and century egg uh, is one example of those dish. When we first did it two years ago, I was in search for the best century egg. We tried basically every century egg we could possibly get our hands on in Hong Kong. And, and a lot of them honestly are great. But uh, I found that it always had an inconsistency in terms of the texture of the yolk. Then at the same time, it would always carry uh, quite a strong ammonia taste, uh, kind of like hair dye. And so I thought, wouldn't it be so great if we can create our own century egg that wouldn't have so much of this ammonia flavor and to, to create a dish that uh, really has not been done ever before. I'm sure you heard, um, back in 2018, century egg along with durian was inducted into Sweden's disgusting food museum. Oh. How do you feel that the century egg has been misconstrued or misunderstood by um, people who don't understand it? I, I actually had no idea. This is, this is news to me. So, because <laughs> I love durian and I love century egg. Um, but I mean, I get it. I get it. You know, for me, you know, when I go to when I go to foreign countries and I'm trying this exotic ingredient, I'm trying it in a place or with somebody that you know has some sort of a knowledge to tell me this is how I should have it, just so I don't, you know, get re repulsed by it and, and never have this ingredient again because just because I didn't have it in the right way, you know. So I think people in, in going to this museum need to go try it again. Like Chef Vicky says, century eggs may look a bit daunting at first, 
but once you know how to enjoy them the right way, you open the door to so many exciting dishes in Chinese cuisine. So, before we have a verdict on whether century eggs are disgusting or not, your turn, Sweden, to tell us why pickled herrings taste so good. <laughs>